and welcome back to the crafty room everyone it's so great to have you back here if this is your first time here in the crafty room a big warm welcome to you as well and i'll have you know that here in the crafty room we love to open things from like small toy openings to larger bunches of toys that we open also same with crafts smaller projects and bigger projects so there's something for everyone here we also sprinkle in a little bit of mystery box opening in between everything so if that sounds good to you consider subscribing hitting the notification bell so you do not miss any uploaded fun videos my name is Dee and let's get into today's crap today we have jelly res Woo! let's turn that around we have jelly res and um yeah this uh, kind of perked up my curiosity a long time ago and I finally kind of broke down if you will and bought a kit because it is supposed to be like a like a softer resin-esque I mean it has res like jelly res so it's like a jelly resin kind of feel project where you are making charms for some some jewelry yeah you can make one ring a necklace and two hair clips that's right up my alley right up the old hair stylist alley and yeah so it's supposed to only take about 15 minutes from creating it to wearing it so what are we waiting for let's get into it right now okay so first and foremost let's find out what's inside um let's check it out it says uh for ages seven and up the theme of this kit is a sweets jewelry and a little bit of instruction here, but I'm sure we have a bigger um, instruction sheet inside. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, now we are good to open you. Oh wait, there's a lot of stuff on the packaging that you don't really realize is there until you focus. So it says everything you need inside. Oh dear, we know Nerdy Crafter doesn't really like that saying too much if they're not really being sincere about it. So shout out to Nerdy. Let's hope so. This is this is going to be a good one for, for us. So it says there's, well actually we can see it, but we'll, we'll actually look at it together here. This is good to know on the outside uh, for pre-purchasing purposes. Okay, let's see. I'm excited. I'm really hoping I mean, because everything looks so colorful and glittery, right? Oh, goodness. If it works in the way that it claims it does, this could be really, really cool. And this kit, um, gosh, I can't remember how much it cost me. I'll put it up in the screen there in the corner, because uh, I believe, again, you know, my favorite place to purchase, old Amazon. I'm pretty sure I got it off of there. And if not I will try to hunt it down for you but I don't think it was more than $20 that's for sure okay so look at what we have here it's turning you the right way oh goodness we already see some awesome stuff let's open this can we take you all out does it come out oh it does come out okay cool so we pull this off we have a jelly res kind of uh, bottle Two of them, one and two, with product inside. It says do not eat, so I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to eat something like that. And this, okay, they're lids to go on uh, after you open them to keep everything else safe. I think you could probably put it on first, too. Maybe not. Oh, you have to go this way. Okay, well, you can. All right, we'll put that to the side there. I'm gonna move this piece. And we'll put that in the pink container. Here's our instructions, like I'd hoped to keep having here. We have, oh, it's taped in, but we do have some glitter. I thought I needed my scissors, but I guess not. We have some beautiful pink glitter, very sparkly. We have a nice gold glitter. Of course, very sparkly as well. We have something in here. Probably tells us in the instructions, but I'm just gonna look at everything. Before I look at the instructions, this has, okay, some, I guess you would call it hardware. These are the clip 
move that here. Okay. Oh, this is like a little uh, kind of type of tweezer. Interesting. Okay, and this I think is what we would put our charm on as uh, a hair clip. That's kind of cool. All right, so we have those. I'll put that in our little box. And what else do we have? We have another little container in here. Okay, let's unravel you and see what you pull. Okay, some more accessory kind of things. Oh, we have to be careful. We don't want to lose any bits. Okay, so this is obviously like for the necklace where we would place a charm on there. Whoops, totally missing that because I'm looking at the <laughs> through the camera lens. I was missing it. And then we look like we could tie this string through it. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I'll actually put you back together. Don't want to lose those. And oh, here's our ring. Obviously, it's going to be too big for my finger. <laughs> well, yeah, my pinky. Awesome. Okay. And then we have the other clip because it said two hair clips. There we go. There's the second one. And looks like we have some some fun stickers here, guys. Woo, that's a lot, sorry. Let's take a look. All right, yeah, we have some nice, definitely, ooh, and some gold little stickers too, look at that. Oh, that's very shiny. Sorry, the glare might not allow you to see everything perfectly. Well, but I think you get the idea. And then our stickers, which of course is dessert themed. Awesome. I wonder how you can work these into your project. And then we have what looks like a little mixing bowl. Or is that a mold? Oh, well, that might be, because look, it has a very round. But it also has a spout, so it could be as good as a pouring cup. Here it looks like we have a chocolate bar kind of style mold we got like a little bite coming out of the corner there. That's so fun. We have this underneath it with an L on it and something with an S. And another little container with a pouring spout. Not sure yet what that's for, but we'll check the instructions for that. We have a strawberry mold. We have um, like a little bonbon mold. A little hard candy and a wrapper. If for some reason we have a cute little nature's candy, I guess. Um, pineapple mold. That's so cute. Oh, that's fun. I'm sure you could use this with any silicone mold that you would have um, already at home. And yeah, okay, well now I guess it's just time to look at our instructions and see what we have to do. I'll give it a quick read and I'll be right back. Okay, so I prepared myself with the instruction information and I think for the first project, I would like to do a little candy hair clip. And uh, maybe for a ring we could do, well actually I think the candy would look cute for a ring. And then maybe we'll do a strawberry hair clip. But we'll see, because we'll start with um, <clears throat> finally the uh, Bon Bon ring. And what we have to do is because it's just a small project, is we take our small container with our small, what I learned is like a little scoop or spatula. And this is the larger one. So on one side, let's make that in the middle. One side I do, this and I fill it to this bottom little line and then when I'm ready to add the number two bottle to that line on the other side put the actually do I do the glitter in that first let's see fill the line um yeah well anyways I will put glitter because I think I'm going to use in this one I'll use the gold glitter Okay, and then you mix it together. You turn 10 times this way and then 10 times counterclockwise. 
and then you pour it into your mold. Then this little gadget actually will help keep your little um, ring hardware nice sitting on top so it will be planted into the jelly res and allow it to uh, basically attach itself to the jelly res and create a nice ring so we'll see how it goes um, I'll speed that up and we'll take a look at it together when it's done let's go Okay, so while our ring is already starting to dry or um, form, it is just the start of 15 minutes and we should be done very soon actually. And I'm seeing silly, we are a quarter of a quarter after three here where I am, so 3.30 we should be ready to um, unmold that. But in the meantime, I'm going to also make this chocolate bar necklace piece and I'm going to need the hardware for that. So it's really easy. As you saw, I just basically mixed the two when it was time. And the glitter is nicely done through there. We actually have a little bit left over. And yeah, I put in like a little, it's not a sticker really, but a little, like a little embellishment, a donut a little picture. So it should show up um, obviously when we unmold it nice and upright, so in the front. So it'll be very, very cool. Um, for our chocolate bar, I think let's do a pink glitter because it's fun to use both of the glitters that we have here today, I think, so we can see what it looks like. Um, and we're gonna use our large container. We're gonna do the same thing, but we fill it up to the line here. Very easy. I mean, it really couldn't get much easier at this point. So I'll show you here squeeze it. Now, the only thing is, is I don't know how much product comes with the kit. Uh, it says it can make a few things, but like, what was it, a necklace, a ring, and two hairpins? Well, maybe. I'm not sure if it'll last that long, or if there's, I mean, enough of that, enough product, enough of this jelly res stuff to do that. We'll see. We'll at least make this. There is still some product left in there. You can probably get a couple other projects out of it. Now, I did not fill this all the way, so that's not good. We'll never know if I don't. I had mis like, underestimated that. <laughs> Doesn't sound like there's going to be a lot left after this one. But we'll try. We'll see. Which would be very unfortunate. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're gonna have that much left over. Whoa, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave these standing upright. Maybe they just need to have the product come down to this little spout there. Oh yeah, there is still enough in there. It's just a weird bottle. But okay, no worries. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna put in our sparkle, our glitter. Ooh. Oh, geez, I forgot to mention too. They said not to put in more than a quarter of the product. It's a quarter of that? How much glitter? Pour gel mixture. I don't think you should, uh, like you should do just a quarter of the package worth of glitter. Otherwise it won't set right. Two. You have to turn 10 times this way. But four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. Cool. Let's see what we have. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So now we just, uh, yeah, we just pour this in. It should be. I'm a little under the line, but it's still good enough. Wow, that looks really pretty. I hope you guys can get that uh, pretty good on camera. And we want to put an embellishment in there, like a picture. It's not really a sticker, but they look like stickers. They're just not sticky very much. Um, we want to put the ice cream cone guy here. So it's not to put your fingers in it, so don't do that. We will put our little strawberry bear. Oh, it's kind of staticky actually. I'll push them down in a minute with the tweezers. We're gonna put some stars here. And a little heart. Woo! <laughs> Let's go for a bow up here. Okay, all right. Some water for my hands. And now our little tweezer. Where did I put our tweezer? And we just have to push this down. Because if we don't, it's not gonna be visible. Because that glitter will get a nice, like a very thick opaque um, barrier between the stickers. I'm gonna call them stickers, but you know where they are, the little decals. And we won't be able to see them quite as clearly. So hopefully this will be good enough. And for this one, we just have to put like this. Uh, we'll do it this way. This way? Yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, so that'll be like that. What I'm going to do is use that little bit. Oh, it's already sticking. I can't even use it. Can you see that, guys? <gasps> that's a good opportunity to see. It's jellifying. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, we're going to use the rest of this then. It's already starting to get a little gelatinous as well. That's okay, I think we're still in a good position to use it for our project. And we're gonna use this to push. Oh, I have gold on there, I don't want it in there. Okay, okay. a little bit of water here. I hope that clears it up. All right. So now we're gonna let those sit for another 15 minutes. And I'll see you after that, we'll unmold them. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes for all our projects. Well, this one at about 20, almost 25 minutes. So it should be good to go. We can see when we look back here at the extra, oh, it is all jelly together. So I'm expecting that the charms and that will be ready to go as well. Fingers crossed. Okay, we'll start with our ring since we did actually start with it and let's try to unmold it. See our little sticker in there. Okay. Oh wow, that was so easy. <gasps> that was so easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's try to get this ring off of this stand. We have some extra. This is actually coming off pretty good. Whoops, stuck to my finger there. Um, yeah. Gotta be careful because I don't want to pull it off. It's still very soft. Very jelly-like for sure. It's not super hard. I'll show you in just a minute. I just want to get the extra little bits off. I think you can just, yeah, you can just trim out the spare scissors. 
stars. Oh, that's awesome. pretty good so what do you think guys now you can see it's a little big the I'll call it sticker but the little embellishment in there the picture little donut is a little bent over but that's okay I love it let's see <laughs> it actually works wow and you can see it's still very pliable but it's not gonna come off unless you pull at it in, on purpose. Oh, that's so cute! That worked! Awesome! Let me put you here. And let's see, let's see about our chocolate bar. Oh, I hope it's ready. It's bigger, so I'm not sure if it needed more time, but it says 15 minutes, mixed to wear. Oh no, I think we're good. Wow, that comes out so easily. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're a little wet here. So I'm not gonna touch it again. I just noticed that when I touched it. Oh, I love it. Except I notice, oh, I've got, you can see the, um, the little necklace bracket thing there. I don't know exactly what to call it, but you can see it there. So when you hang it off of yourself, um, it's going to be a little, uh, actually it should be okay. It's just, I mean, if it was me, uh, me being picky, I wouldn't want to see that personally on mine, but it's, uh, it's pretty much hardened. It's just a little tacky on top, like I said, but it is so adorable. Oh my goodness. These are great and so easy. You saw how easy that was. And there you go. You have a necklace. Wow, and look how sparkly that is. And of course you didn't have to use any glitter or you can use less glitter or you can mix your glitters. It would just depend on you. That's where your creative uh, juices get to flow and you get to do your embellishments, like your little, um, little pictures. We have some left here, we can have a face. So do we have enough to do the two hair clips. I would say we do because there's enough in here and here that we could do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make them right now um, and I think I'm just going to keep them clear just so we can see what it looks like and when they're done I'll be right back and we'll take a look at everything we did today. So hang tight. Okay so we are done waiting. It has been over 15 minutes for sure, probably about 20 at least, if not a little bit more. But we know that it does... Sorry, I'm just going to make sure this isn't tacky anymore. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, that it does work in 15 minutes. This one needed a little bit longer because I guess it's a little bit bigger, but that's no problem. So let's unmold our first hair clip. And we have our pineapple and there we go! Wow, looks good. See, what I did is I, of course, put in this little popsicle um, embellishment picture. We have a little gold bonbon inside. And I think it's like a heart here. And a smaller heart as well in there. And it's stuck pretty good, nice and soft. We have a little bit of extra here and there, but we could always use our scissors to trim that up. That's no problem. As we know, and yeah, you could just clip this into your hair. That's awesome. Let's see your next one. This one is the strawberry one. Let's unmold that. Oh, cute. Oh, it's a little tacky. Okay. Maybe because it's a little thicker than the other one. But very cute still. We have a little bonbon embellishment there. We have, it looks almost silvery in here, like the heart embellishment and a little bonbon embellishment too. And yet in here it's gold. I guess it's, oh, it depends which side you put on, like forward. I didn't realize it had a silver side. I didn't even pay attention to that. I just assumed they were both gold on either side. But very cute. 
So that's what it looks like kind of without having the glitter through it. And again, you just put it in your hair. That is so cute. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I thought this kit was pretty good. You know, it's a uh, good playability for, uh, what was it, seven and up? Absolutely. So much fun you can get. So creative with these projects. Um, you can go simpler, you can embellish them like crazy. You can just have a lot of fun with it. And I think that to let your imagination wander or let your uh, things you create in your mind come to reality is just so cool. And I think a lot of kids would really enjoy this. I know I did. <laughs> I'm not a kid, but remember guys, I'm always a big kid at, at heart. And we even have enough little jelly res to do another hair clip, at least. Isn't that great? And I was so worried that I wouldn't have enough to do all my projects. So there you go. Necklace. Very cute. Ring. Adorable. And her two hair clips. Lovely. Amazing. So I'd say Jelly Res is good. Easy, effective, and fun. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it did have pretty much everything you needed. Actually, I think it did. It really did. Awesome. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I sure hope you enjoyed this video as always. And until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and of others. Stay crafty, and you know I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.